Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Dead Estate. We are back again and the giveaway has finished. We have three winners of the Dead Estate keys. Um, so for those people, I'll call their name in just a second, but I'll give them a message over on the previous video and you can either message me on Discord or add me on Steam and I will make sure your game gets sent over to you. So the first winner is Egg Lettuce. The second one is Nondescript YouTube User. And the third one is Horus. So all of you have been lucky enough to win a copy of Dead Estate. Um, well done to you guys. And yeah, I'll um, I'll make sure that you get your copy. I'll message you over on the other video and you can add me on Steam or whatever. And we'll get that sorted. Anyways, let's jump in and play some more of this wonderful game. I'm really, really enjoying it at the moment. Oh, hello. <laughs> what on earth is going on here? It's Mumbu. <laughs> Okay, there's a lot of animation work in this game that I don't think was here last time I played. Oh lord. Hello. Intriguing. Okay. And we broke him free. So I guess we can even play as Jules or Mumba in this episode. I think I'd prefer to play as Jules just because she's like the next character along. Um, oh, we also unlocked this character as well. Hello. The realtor. This is pretty cool. We really did some really good work on these animations here. So, <laughs> is her plan literally to find this haunted mansion and just flip it? That's pretty funny. If I remember correctly, she has like hairspray, doesn't she? She like uses it as a lighter. It's pretty cool. <laughs> she just climbs over the goddamn fence. Okay then. <laughs> Oh, I like it. I like it. Right, so yeah, we have a few, a few classes. Let's play as Jules this time around. And we do have Painful Difficulty unlocked. I don't know if there's any additional unlocks for playing Painful Difficulty, but we can give it a go. Um, if you guys want me to stick on normal, then we can do. But for now, we'll try playing pa Painful Difficulty. And we'll give this a go and jump straight in. Jules is definitely my favorite character at the starting two because she starts with a shotgun and she's faster. She does have slightly less HP, but... God damn do I love shotguns in games. They're just a lot of fun. Um, so starting out with that's great. Also, weird to uh, get the boss straight away like that. Oh, what the hell? So all things a bit scary. Hopefully we can get some good money here and some good items to start. Um, I'll be looking for my secret rooms where I can. But yeah, having the shotgun to start with, obviously you've got the downside of it being a bit closer range, but it's just so much stronger than the pistol. Especially if you're willing to sort of get up close and personal. Um, what we got here? I will try and get that, but I'd rather wait. Ooh, secret room. Nice. We got a weapon chest already. The crossbow. Hard-hitting, slow-reloading weapon that fires bolts which penetrate enemies. But a bad ass. I think we'll stick with the uh, the shotgun for now. Uh, just because I don't want to waste ammo. But definitely on the boss we'll be using that. Come on, give me some golden scorpions. You know you want to. I, I, I'm not actually sure on painful mode if you just like take more damage, enemies more aggressive, or if you get less money, or if it's a combination of all of those things. I'm not one uh, entirely sure on how painful mode is balanced. Especially this has been my first time playing this game in a while. I'm not going to notice the differences too much. And we do have to kind of be quick here. We don't want chunks to get up in our business. I'm hoping to get HP from one of these red ones there. Sadly not. Is that another secret room? That it is. That it is. Good money there. I didn't realise you could get more than one secret room a floor, I'll be honest. That's a gold enemy. That gold enemy just drops more money. Okay, nice. That's something I wasn't privy to before, but I like it. Okay, so we haven't got a whole hell of a lot of money here. In fact, this is pretty low money, and I'm, I'm thinking that you do get less money in hard mode. It's painful. But I'll check out Cordelia's shop first, because that has some good items. Move faster while jumping. Both have a chance to stun. Um, oh, that's that's actually kind of amazing. That would just save us a ton of time. Chunks is coming, so we've got to be quick. Let's get in here. Let's use our crossbow see how it does. We've only got three HP at the minute, so we have to be a little bit careful. Um, I'm sure we're going to have some losses. Damn, yeah, this is good. This is actually a really good boss to fight with this, because we have piercing. Oh, 
I don't know if this money disappears or not, but I want it all. It does, it does, it does disappear. Bollocks. Ouch. Damn it. I lost so much money there, I didn't realize that money disappeared. Right, I definitely want that destructive aura thing. Needs enough stats this floor though. Destroy pots by walking into them or jumping on them. Just sounds very useful. Very, very useful. Right. Oh wait, we can do the challenge room as well. Probably do that as well. I mean, we've got very little HP right now, so this could be very risky. I'm gonna do it anyways. Big, big accident there. Big accident, but... Red boy getting fresh. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, we go again. That was a rough first floor. Painful mode in no joke. Let's try again though. I unfortunately did, just didn't get much money that time around though. Like not a lot at all. So bit of an unlucky start regardless. Didn't mean to enter this other room here. Yeah, so we got some red enemies as well, which I'm seeing. Help there, it's nice considering I just lost some. You do get money for picking up excess HP as well. I always forget that. The excess money is not... The excess HP, sorry, it's not bad. But yeah, remember to try and actually get the money before the rooms are over. Ouch. That was a very bad usage of my, uh, my jump there. I'm not very good at navigating around these spikes, clearly. Um, that is evident by my failures thus far. See what we got going on in here. Stranger. Eye drops is increase your accuracy. Chance for projectiles to go through enemies. I definitely want increased projectile um, accuracy because we, ha we have a shotgun, so I'm imagining that'd be quite good. Secret room there. Heart pot spawn more often. That's real good. But yeah, more accuracy for a shotgun seems real good. Careful of these scorpions that manage to sit on top of everything. Good stuff. Don't have the key quite yet. That was close. Jumped into that. Did it again! Stop jumping through the middle of the rooms, the spikes in them, you idiot. <laughs> you fool. Rooms like this are really good, you've got a good chance of getting HP and uh, money. Okay, money's looking a lot better this time round. I don't remember what that other item might- It was a uh, project has go through enemies, we definitely want that. I hear your chunks. Doing your anger. Weapon. Laser shotgun. Very, very nice. Very nice indeed. We could probably use that here. Don't know what magazine this is, but I'll give it a go. These guys are definitely faster on painful mode. That feels 100% true. It just feels like enemies in general are faster. This is a really, really rough uh, challenge room here. I don't know if we'll be able to do it in time. Okay, we're good, we're good. Trying to stun enemies and set them on fire. Very, very nice. Let's go do this other room over here. Another secret room. Wow, there's so possibility of so many secret rooms per floor. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. got to keep an eye out for them, because they are very valuable, clearly. Yeah. 
I really wish the teleport rooms would activate as regular teleporters after the fact where you could just like look at the click on the map and like move around one second right let's keep this ball ball let's keep this ball keep this ball rolling so the other thing was projectile oh my god don't do that projectile piercing i definitely want that stranger fancy an extra jump that boosts your new no, we'll just take that for the extra chance to pierce i know you're here mr boy i don't really care for you right now i want to go get a little bit of damage Nice one. Okay. Probably should have bought HP rather than damage, but fine. Coming again. He's coming. Luckily, rather easy for us to get away here. We've only got 20 ammo on this thing, so it won't be super useful. We'll get as much done with it as we can. Does really good damage. That was a really, really bad hit there. Another very, very bad hit. Honestly, don't really know what to say. Just taking terrible damage right now. It's okay, though. Up to the next floor. Up to the next floor, baby. Just our health now that's a risk. Certainly, trying painful mode with jewels here is proving to be a bit difficult. Oh my god. Enemies like this already scared me. This guy's so aggressive, what the hell? Oh my goodness. There's a pinata in this room, what the hell? It gave me a rad hammer. Never seen that before. Come on, I need a heart real bad. Kill him off with a melee weapon as it's coming at you. Didn't intend to do that, but thank you. If I knew someone was coming in. Enemies will release barrage projectiles. Um, small chance for your shots to explode. I know I'm about to die here, but I love the idea of that. I can't not take that. It's against every fibre of my being. Oh, I thought I... Damn it. <laughs> I thought that I'd killed that enemy and not the butterfly enemy. We'll go again. Painful mode is a lot harder. I don't know exactly what it changes, but it, it definitely is creating some issues for me. But yeah, let me know if you want to see me continue to try painful mode or not. Probably, I'm probably going to try it um, for, this, for today's episode and tomorrow's episode. But after that point, you can let me know how you want me to progress. I don't even know if there's like ex better unlocks for it, my bad. There might not be any better unlocks for it, I don't know. Hopefully we can have a good time with um, money again this floor, because last time we did really well on the money front. I mean, to be fair, we did find a ton of secret rooms last time as well, though. Teleporter. Go. Teleport straight back now, y'all. This is an interesting way to do teleportation. I will give it that. It's definitely unique. Easy kills than those guys. No secret rooms there, I don't think. Why do you keep dropping the HP here? It's very, very hard for me to get to it. Yeah, damn. Unfortunately, this time around, I would say that our money is pretty abysmal. But this is a good room for money, though. Although, I will say, it's an incredibly dangerous room. Okay. The money situation has become a lot better now. That one room very much sorted us out. I'll try and find Cordelia's shop first. It's a little more valuable than stats, I think. Stats are great, but yeah. Items can be so much better. Another one of these rooms. 
I don't think these guys can drop golden scorpions, but they, dro they drop a good amount of money themselves anyways, and they have a high H high chance to leave HP, which gives us even more money, so... I can hear that Chunks is coming soon, so I've got to be a little bit speedier than I'm currently being. Okay, what we got going on in here? Bullets travel faster, not really super useful. Chance for shots to not consume ammo when fired, that's really good. Uh, that's not so good. good Keep the rest for stats, I think. Ball and chain. Don't know what that could mean, but I feel like we owe it to ourselves to try these challenge rooms when we can. Also, these challenge rooms do give you more money too, so they are worth doing in that respect as well. I need to remember I can just hold down the fire button. I constantly, when I'm playing this game, I attack fire with guns like this, but might as well just hold it. Ouch. Took some damage there, but it's not too bad. Firing a weapon won't knock you back. I didn't even know it did knock me back, but that's still probably a, a net positive all around. What? What? Right, I think we go and get one damage, one HP. What? Chunks is here. One damage, one HP. And that sets us up nicely. We're going to do our boss. We don't. We didn't get a weapon this floor, unfortunately. We need range increases. That's what would really help right now. This is just a bit of a hard boss because of the aerial shots it fires, but I think it's, you know, I think it's dead pretty quick though, either way. Um, we can't afford another HP or anything. I would love to have gotten one there. If we could squeeze out another HP, that would have been lovely. But I think we're reasonably good set up here. We've got three HP, decent damage, obviously only got a weapon, but we do have this item that uh, allows us to potentially not use as much ammo. So when we do get a weapon, it might stick around a little longer than it otherwise would, which is real good. Nice. Ouch! Are oh, you motherfucking scorpions, man? They're so hard to see when they pop out of the, the pots. Ouch! What? What? Okay, also, I don't really know how I got hit there. Okay. One second. Things aren't looking too good for us here, I've got to admit. Oh my god, second. Shit's going down. Right, there you go. Yeah, things aren't looking too good for us now. I was saying how good things were looking, and now, not so much. Not so much indeed, but we know what we're doing. We know what we're doing. Again, I should just buy an Ambrosia here, and this time, I might. Stranger. Bullets are reflected on impact with enemies. That sounds so cool. Make enemy projectiles slow down as they approach you. That also sounds cool. Let's buy the Ambrosia now so we can try and save up for some of this other stuff. Yeah, I just think we need to realize that in this painful mode, we are going to have to buy HP from time to time. Dude, these... F Mmm, I need to learn not to stand so close to the pots, but at the same time, I have a shotgun. What else am I meant to do? The scorpions just, like, jump right on me. It'd be nice to have, like, at least, a, like, a point two of a second before those things could deal damage to you. weapon shop here, which I don't really care for. What I really want is an actual weapon. Finding a lot of these enemies very, very difficult. Also, give me some health pots, please. There you go, finally. There's one. Good. What? 
I saw you, invisible fellas. Don't think I didn't. Is that a big invisible guy? It is, isn't it? Hey, more HP. Good, good, good. Holy shit, we got one of these. Take everything out, else out will fall the creepy lady. Basically, the creepy lady, when you shoot her, she dashes right towards where you last were. So it's kind of a shoot and move sort of deal. He? Do you wanna... Oh, there you go. Right, back we go. Weapon chest is probably over here. Chunks is definitely coming anytime now, though. We're gonna be ready for that. There you go. He's here. Good. Can't do the challenge room while Chunks is about. From you, I will take the broken mirror. Do you know what? I'll take the eye drops as well. That accuracy was good last time. Damn it. I want to do this room, but I don't think I have the time. Oh, what the hell? Right, try, try and be really speedy here. Go in here, out here, and just beeline it to the challenge room. Yes, I did it. <laughs> I have to try and do this. Potential for items is too valuable. Ouch. Is there two of these mouth guys on top of each of the yes there is? These little vibrating fellas are peculiar. Hey, we did it though. Upon taking damage, you'll release a live barrage of projectiles. One enemy is marked for death at the start of every room. I'm guessing it means it takes more damage or something? Okay, only got two HP. Didn't get a weapon this floor either. Things are a little rough. We could go buy one, I guess. But I think we're better off just trying to use the shotgun. That is a secret room there. Chest room. Half heart pots. Heart, heart spots spawn. Little bit of a heart pots spawn more often, even. Right. Only two health and a dream to kill whatever boss this might be. We'll give it our best shot. I forget how this guy works, but I know that he's not easy. I'm pretty sure he has low HP though. Okay. This is a bit I remember not being so easy. Pretty sure we got him. Yeah, there you go. Good, good, good. Right, let's go. Okay. Made it to the third floor for the first time on painful mode. Feeling good. Got okay money for this as well. Maybe one of the things that um painful mode does is make it so that you don't you don't get guaranteed item rooms or something. Because I, th I really that's a great start to a room there. Um, I would have thought that I would have got an item room on that last floor, and I didn't. I can't believe that room. I just walked in and instantly took damage. Dude! Stupid rabbit! It didn't die when it should have died. Got a toilet paper there. Still don't know how the toilet paper works. Probably don't want to risk taking it. Good amount of health there. Hello, well, lovely. How are you doing? Increase the size of all explosions. Increase the chance for high, higher value items to spawn. Sounds really good. Chance for some enemies to get scared and leave the room once one enemy, um, one of their own is killed. That seems pretty darn useful. We'll save up for that. Secret room. Increased damage for all melee weapons. Unfortunately, Jules, you say it might help. It won't help right now. 
So this guy's marked for death. What, is, what exactly does that mean for us? Joe Biden. Oh my lord, he's so fast. Holy fuck, this little goobers are moving at a million miles an hour. Challenge room again. Salt shaker is that enemies like leave salt on death, right? I'll give it a go. Even more fire rate as well, maybe. There's a bunch of these guys. What the fuck? Not particularly easy to dodge. That was easy. Unfortunately, still lost health, though. Nice. One bit of health from this room, please. That's all I ask. Damn it. Chunks is here already? Fuck me. So fast. What do you hold for me again? I like that. I like the idea of that. Probably should buy stats more than anything, but... I'm gonna have to take this guy out, because he's... What do you pay in the ass? Although, I do think that taking him out... Really? Twice in a row? Taking him out with a shotgun is not gonna be easy. Can you stop doing that attack, please? annoying to not have that health bar to go on. See, now he's just going to kill us, isn't he? Dude, can you stop doing that attack, please? My guy, please die! Oh my goodness, how much health do you have, mister? Subdue! Please. Right, we'll give it another go, but I think we're going to have to... I'm honestly thinking we're going to have to turn off Painful Mode for a while. I'm clearly not good enough at this game yet. For Painful Mode to even be remotely something that we can consider. I have a lot to learn. It's fun. I, I do like the added difficulty, and I'm sure that once I'm a little more well-versed at the game, we can uh, put it on and have a good time. But at the minute, goddamn... I am getting my teeth kicked in. But then again as well, playing as Jules, a character with low HP and that has to stay at close range. Probably not the best idea for our first time on painful mode. Anyways. But yeah, it seems that we don't get chest or weapon rooms at all anymore on painful mode. Or at least there's a chance to not get them. Because I don't think I've seen any of them so far. I'm gonna drop the area. I will check again on this floor, but like I said, I haven't been seeing them. Move in. Secret room here. Laser machine gun. Secret room here money. Whatever eye this is. Let's go for it. Ooh, I like this. Got pretty good ammo too. Just keep Bam in this gun. Nice. Oh, shots home. Nice. I like that. A good addition for us right now. Another secret room I saw. Wow. 
Yeah, like, I, I think our item rooms and stuff are secret rooms now. Spawns a bag of monster food at the start of every um, room with, with temporary attacked enemies. Okay. What? And here, what we got? Was in. Will it travel further? Enemies spawn with less HP. Some might spawn with more. Fire will burn enemies for longer and do more damage. I think I want to go for stats here instead. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, the enemies just get attracted to that. I realize the chunks is coming anytime now. Need to be doing this for potential money, though. There he is. Nice. Right. Boss time. The food isn't going to do much this time around. Sadly, buying HP doesn't actually increase your... Like, you'd actually heal from it, so... We gained ammo on that fight almost. We only lost about 10. We did take damage yet again, the cycle of damage continues for us. Don't die. I will try not to, my good friend. I will try not to. I know it kind of bends for ammo, but I do just want to use this thing, it's a lot of fun. Unfortunately, they don't fire at the, the food bag. Nice. Ooh, there's some HP. Lovely. So much ammo. Also, I want my, my, my biggest problem seems to be at the minute, I keep assuming enemies are dead before they are. I keep thinking, oh, well, I've done enough damage, that enemy's definitely dead. And then it's not, and I walk into it. The hell is this thing? Oh, we've got five bullets left in this. This isn't going to do much, but... Perming on the shotgun's kind of nice. Big weird white guy. Don't know about you. Bosses now drop a free item on defeat. That's very, very nice. Anything that's going to give us bonus items, I think, is going to be the way to go for us here. Let's try more pots, but destroying pots is a weird thing. It's like, in this game, it seems so unnecessary, but I'll be honest, I don't really like the gameplay loop of having to, like, sit in every room and just shoot pots for ages. It'd be nice if, in combat, they took multiple hits, but out of combat, they always destroyed in a single hit. I think that'd be a much better way of doing it. What if I knew someone was coming in? Um, when a weapon runs out of ammo, you can continue firing using money instead. Nah. I'll go for the ammo recycler, though. Ammo recycler seems very useful. It's a chunks time. Also, I think the chunks timer is a lot, lot lower in a uh, painful mode. Because, goddamn, I'm, I'm, like, barely clearing the floors before he shows up. The, uh, the, the food seems to be a good way of distracting him, though. Like, he, he, seems to get, he seems to get caught up on the food pretty quickly. It's actually allowing me to manage rooms reasonably normally. Oh, these bloody goddamn butterflies are really difficult. Really difficult. There's uh, some HP so that we don't die at least. Uh, 
I'm trying to do all these rooms, but... Didn't mean to do the boss there, but we're doing it now. Don't have a secondary weapon for this. Yeah, definitely a lot less items, a lot less weapons. Certainly a bit of an issue with painful mode for me. This last time it took two phases of this, so we'll see if it's the same this time. It was. Chance to receive coins upon entering a room for the first time. That's pretty useful. Extra money. Uh, let's try out this room first. Also blow up this. Yes, there's health there. Let's go back and actually get that health. Health there as well. I'm so glad that I went to this room. My goodness, that was valuable. Right, get gone. Oof. Certainly a struggle bus here. Certainly a struggle bus. We are clearing it through. Not too bad. But yeah, I think I'm going to do Mumbu. Mumbu on normal next time. And that's slightly more plausible that we can get a win. And I think getting wins with characters it does give us unlocks and stuff, so... HP back there. Really only going for the red pots now. In fact, I just can't be bothered to destroy all the pots. It's valuable, I realise. What the hell is this? Oh, this is the, um, that elevator that takes us to the, the, the bakery, right? The kitchen? Something like that? Last time we went there, it was real good. Honestly, this dog food's ace. Also, I did see that secret room. Dude, this heart's so strong. What the hell? This heart. Taking so much damage. Makes all explosions larger. Enemies killed with explosions will explode themselves. Nice. Ah, oh, the bag of food betrayed me there. I love doing like the little mini jumps. That's satisfying. Ow. These enemies are deceptive too because they don't look like they're flying, but they are. You gotta jump to hit them. Rooms like this, I'll destroy the pots because they're, they're so clustered and easy to destroy. Oh god. Got this goddamn hand. Oh, Lord. I think mainly for me, at the minute, it's just getting used to the weird perspective of this game. Like, shots are, shots are landing and hitting me that I just don't feel should be. It's getting used to that, it's difficult. Change your default weapon to whatever weapon you have in your second slot. Oh, shit. Please say we can get a weapon this floor. That's insanely strong. Two HP there as well, wow. Chunks is here now. Again, Chunks isn't too bad for us mid combat because we do have the, that ability to uh, distract him. Really don't like this tree branch enemy. Might as well stick with killing him at this point. I've got more health this time, so I'm going to give it a go. But he still hit me with that, even though I jumped out the way of it. Apparently, I jumped incorrectly. Again, the perspective is just so difficult to get used to. Oh, 
Maybe he has more health on Painful Mode. Maybe that's one of the issues I'm having. There you go, we got him this time. It just gets him off our back so we can just focus for a little bit. Because I, I really want to focus on trying to get myself another weapon. If I don't get another weapon this floor, I'm going to be peeved. Because that is an insanely strong item that could be a lot of fun. Forget what you do, woman. Do a lot is what you do. No secret rooms in here. The floor's long. Oh my god. I've got the cycle wrong. Every time I get near it, it's like up rather than down. There you go. Oh, at least I don't have to worry about chunks now. I'm just do everything in peace. I'm not gonna get a weapon, am I? I can just tell. Good. Your love of the food. Get out of here, Joe Biden. Health shot. We have a thousand money right now. Really? You hit me twice? Why? Why did you feel the need to do that? So rude. <gasps> Weapon. Axe. Now, axe probably isn't the best thing to go as our main weapon, but it's the only option we have, so... I feel like it's better to do it than to not, right? I get some extra HP here. This thing just has infinite ammo now. This is crazy. I wonder, like, this, this weapon better be good. I see you there. Seems pretty good. 35 damage. Damn it, just a tiny bit off of getting that. Yeah, we can get it now. Unfortunately, like I said, it doesn't actually heal us, though. Very big flaw. I need money, game. Not money. I need health. I do need money as well now, though. A lot of those guys that I don't really know has a dodge. Another one of these. What? What the fuck killed me then? Anyways, we're going to leave it there. Super annoying to get super glue that late. Painful mode is insanely difficult compared to regular mode. What the hell? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.